Uh, up next, AJ, what have we got? Ah! <laughs> Shocking bit of news. <laughs> Tom Holland has been recast as Spider-Man. Confirmed. Aha! Uh -huh. It's actually uh -huh. happened. Tom Holland's okay. Spider-Man recasting confirmed for a Phase 5 spin-off. Sort of. Hmm. Sort of. Let me explain. The new actor will take over Tom Holland's Peter Parker in the MCU Spider-Man spin-off, Spider-Man Freshman Year. After six live-action appearances and one supporting role in Marvel's What If, Spider-Man will return in Marvel Studios' animated series, Spider-Man Freshman Year, which will explore Peter Parker's early years as a hero. However, the MCU animated show will feature some major changes. Recent copyright listings for upcoming in MCU Phase 5 shows on the MCU Phase 5 slate reveal new details about their plot, release date, and cast. Pre-registered in at the US Copyright Office via the Cosmic Circus, Spider-Man Freshman Year seems to have cast Hudson Thames as Peter Parker. No idea who that is, no disrespect, Hudson. Replacing Tom Holland as the MCU's wall crawler in the animated show. Thames had previously voiced Spider-Man in What If, Episode 5, and is expected to be part of the MCU's Marvel Zombies voice cast as well. Uh, while this update provides valuable information about Spider-Man Freshman Year and other upcoming MCU projects, nothing is set in stone until the actor strike is officially over and Marvel Studios announces each movie and shows cast officially. Until then, all new information available online remains unconfirmed. Also, Hudson Thames casting as Peter Parker in Spider-Man Freshman Year doesn't forbid Tom Holland from reprising his Marvel role, as Tom Holland will likely return as the MCU's live-action Spider-Man in future big-screen Spider-Man sequels. AJ, obviously it's a bit of a dud, misleading story. Let's not focus <laughs> on that. Are you excited at the idea of another Spider-Man animated series? <laughs> okay, guys, silver screen confession clickbait but here we go um look here's my thing Here, here's my thing and i've just got to be 100 percent honest i have seen other spider-man animations nothing will beat the 90s spider-man that we had on fox kids i don't know where it is anywhere else in the globe but it was a fox kids production that was the bees so knees good. Right, that is just as good as it gets. There was stuff before it, which yes, you've got the your Spider-Man meme from, but there was not much more. And it had the Spider-Man theme song. We'll give it that. But nothing has outdone. I, I I'm still waiting to be done I agree. with that. And now I um I, I look obviously Tom Holland's paycheck confirmed compared to a man who's got two rivers for a first and last name is gonna be very different, right? <laughs> <laughs> but like nothing but good luck to you i'm hoping for again the buzzword guys quality but i i i, I maintain and maybe call me an old dog trying to learn new tricks nothing can outdo the 90s spider-man animation from fox kids currently on disney plus it can't be outdone i it's just i i'm throwing down the gauntlet to anyone it, it just i don't think it can be I don't agree with that. I completely do not agree with that. I'm very much like you in the sense that that 90s animated Spider-Man is the gold standard. And I still think, despite all the live action attempts, despite all the into the into the Spider-Verse stuff that we've had, not just the best animated, but the best Spider-Man ever still remains that animated 90s series. That would it was gold. I can't I can't echo your sentiments enough. However, I'm always up for someone coming and bettering it. I won't oh, let right. nostalgia stand in the way of me looking at something objectively going, this new piece of media is freaking awesome and it's better than what came before. There have been other animated Spider-Man shows that I have liked, but like you, nothing comes close to that animated show from the 90s. I would love this to be the case. I'm really interested to see where they go with this. And yeah, a Spider-Man animated show? Bring it on! All for that. Um, Anything you want to add? No, I think I may have been slightly misunderstood. I'm open to other shows. I just don't believe... You said it can't be outdone. I, 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 I just don't mean the track record of the show, and it can't be. Like, I'm open for all challenges. It's kind of like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. There's only one. <laughs> like, everything else that's come along does not meet... Well, the standard. I saw it's that ever. Netflix movie. Ooh. 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 Right. <laughs> 
cheese is wet. But the, I mean, look, you could go back to original Power Rangers and still be like, oh, that's cheese. However, six episodes of Turning Green or whatever that was called, the Green Ranger Saga. It, it Green, with MB. Green with MB, that was great. Nothing has outdone that in the whole pantheon of everything that Power Rangers have done. We were very lucky to be part of a very special era for animation and Saturday morning entertainment. Okay? Completely. Very lucky. And I am very open to it, but I don't believe that that media exists the way it does anymore. And I'm not saying, oh, it's an animation, it has to fall into that category. But that's kind of the target audience that you're trying to recapture. And I don't feel that essence is still there. So it may be an awesome one that our generation will appreciate, but then we're still going to compare it to our golden icon that is yet to be replaced. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. And it's it's outside of the realm of, um, you know, we had Batman, X-Men and Spider-Man, of course, which were amazing. But then, you know, you had Catch the Pigeon, Wacky Races, Scooby-Doo, all of the Hanna-Barbera stuff. Um, you know, the Flintstones, the Jetsons, it was a uh, Dexter's Lab, Recess, Cow and Chicken. Like, it was a uh, Powerpuff Girls, Johnny Ooh, Bravo, Powerpuff <laughs> Girls, Johnny. <laughs> Pardon me, how sexy mama. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so good. Um, yeah, that's never seen the light of day again. That cartoon. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Johnny Bravo is available on Amazon. I will get that just for laughs. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let us know what you guys think down below. Are uh, are you excited for this new Spider-Man animated show? And yeah, leave it. <laughs> pretty much the only question. Are you excited? Yay or nay? And if so, why? Um, right.